welcome back so we have observed a class that was in 10 categories we have made into new models which we call it as a coding now the coding has to be decoded so that we can understand how the teacher has taught in that particular class that can be done in these 11 ways they are like this teacher talk student talk silence indirect by direct ratio i by r teacher response ratio t r r teacher question ratio t q r people initiation ratio p a r teacher response ratio 8 9 t r r 8 9 teacher question ratio 8 9 t q r 8 9 constructive integration ratio c a r content cross ratio c c r vesicus ratio v r steady state ratio s s come let us understand how this can be calculated so the first one teacher talk ratio teacher talk student talk science everything will come in one category so teacher talk is that we have identified out of 10 7 will be of teacher so those seven total diaries maybe in the column or row take it there will be total number of cat category in our case it is 79 so make into percentage you will be getting 59.49% so that is our value. See, see that our example is it's an example, just it's not a real class. Based on thousands of observations in a real class, Flanders got a normative value for many things, and his normative value for teacher talk ratio is 68. Okay, student talk ratio. Out of 10, 7 goes for teacher, 2 goes for student, 1 for science. So those two tallies in 8 and 9 divided by overall tally into 100 so we get 22.78 percent so the normative value is 20 percent so this will be good if that is 20 percent around that that will be a good class so silence so the last 10th is for silence so the tally in the 10th row or 10th column there will be overall tallies so made into percentage 17.72 in our case and normative value is 12 so indirect by direct ratio which means that the influence of the teacher whether the teacher influences the class either by direct method or by indirect method so the indirect method is one two three four and direct method is five six seven so the tallies for one two three four categories divided by five six seven it will be getting i by d ratio so our case is 1.61 if general thing if I by D is more than one, then the teacher influences the students indirectly. If I by D is less than one, what does that mean? The teacher influences the class directly. So indirect influence is better than the direct influence. Teacher response ratio. So teacher response ratio is that one and two and three categories. We know that for teacher, how many categories are there? There are seven. So, teacher response ratio 1 to 3 divided by for all teacher talk 7 categories made into percentage 61.90. The normative value is 42%. So, teacher question ratio. So, if you take teacher question and lecture 4 and 5, so 4 is question divided by 4 plus 5. So if you have this ratio multiplied by 100, we'll be getting into percentage. Our example is 61.53. Flanders says that 21 percent is better. Teacher question ratio. Then people initiation ratio. For people only two categories. Eight is the response of the student whenever teacher questions. Nine is he or she himself or herself spontaneously answering. That is nine. So that is that is called initiation. So, 9 divided by the two categories for students made into percentage. Our example is 27.78. But the value given, normative value by Flander is 34. So, the other one is TRR 8. The teacher response ratio 8. So, how the teacher responds and make them and make them encourages, uses their ideas whenever the students stop talking. So, the categories in uh, 8 and 9 plus 
the first three indirect influence one two three divided by the category is eight nine one two three six and seven if these things are made we will be getting each response ratio eight nine so the normative value is sixty percent teacher question ratio eight nine so the teacher uses his own ideas of questioning while while delivering the content so it's in the eighth row fourth column which eight four means eighth row fourth column plus ninth row fourth column the tallies so divided by eight four nine four eight four nine three so made into percentage you'll be getting a value so the normative value is 44 percent the important thing next is so content cross sells constructive integration cell viscous so can see the first red color so that is called as constructive integration cell so the one two three indirect influence constructive integration cell this one okay so this one we call constructive integration so content cross sells four and five so delivering a content lecturing questioning and then we see questions were uh, justifying authority criticizing all those things, six and seven so how these things are calculated the first one is a positive one constructive integration so go all along these three uh, uh, tallies in those tabular column one 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 two one three two one two 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 three three one three two three three we would have a total categories in total. This will give you constructive integration ratio. Content crosses this 4 and 5. There would be total number of tallies into 100. So normative value is 55. Vesicus resume. So this 6 and 7. All the 4 cells. There would be total tallies into 100. So steady state ratio is that. When the class is being on the diagonal for a much amount of time one one two two three three same same categories three three four four for a longer duration of time that is called steady state cells so that one how to calculate this is the value so the tally marks in one one tally mark in two two three three four four five five so all those tallies in the diagonal they would be overall tallies and made into percentage so the normative value can come around 50 percent so this is how a classroom is decoded so it is much useful for a teacher how the class has been taught he or she can improve the class so the advantage it is a measuring tool evaluation tool and it is used for feedback system and it is in a scientific way so the disadvantage is so it's only verbal communication is taken into consideration so and the trained observers are needed so otherwise this cannot be done very well so thank you so much thank you for your watching